Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of Practical PowerPoint Tips series, you will learn how to expand photos to full page. Let us go to the slide and here is the normal view of the slide and if you see here, the picture that I have taken from one of the sites is not really filling the entire slide and I want to make a Zen kind of uh, slide where the slide fills the entire page and I can write a caption here. Now to do that, I need to crop the photo manually and that is the normal way. So maybe then I can go to format, go to crop tool and try and crop from various places from both the ends and see if uh, this one works for us. Now I can expand it and if I expand it to fill the entire slide, I still feel that there is, I still see that there is still some gap here. So then I drag the picture to cover the whole page and this distorts the image. So all kinds of mess can happen if we try to crop a picture to cover the full page by using manual cropping method. Now there is an alternative fortunately which makes the whole process extremely clean and simple. And that is what you're going to learn today. Now I clicked on the picture, go to format and instead of using the crop tool the way you see here, you click on the small arrow underneath the crop tool here. You get the crop tool by the way in the format ribbon in PowerPoint. Then when you click on this option, then you see that you can choose aspect ratios for cropping. The slide size that I use is 4 is to 3, so I am going to choose the aspect ratio of landscape 4 is to 3. And the moment I do it, you can see that PowerPoint does the work for me. It crops the picture from both the ends perfectly. Now when I click outside, the size of this image would fit in perfectly to cover the slide end to end. Let us see how to do it. I am going to move the picture so the top left corner of the picture and the slide align perfectly. Then all I need to do is to drag the other corner of the picture till the time it corresponds with the bottom right corner of the slide and there you see the picture filling in perfectly. Now all that is left for me to do is to add a caption and the slide would be ready. Knowing how to work with pictures effectively is very useful if you are a business presenter. If you are aware of the various techniques of working with pictures, then you can create slides like this. These are some of the example templates taken from our CEO pack 2. And here you can see how we have worked with pictures to create some wonderful effects for titles. Like the way that you see here. And here is another example of working with pictures. We've got tons of tutorials that help you work with pictures effectively. Please do go through all of them and improve your skills in, in uh, working with pictures. If you're a busy business presenter, one of the tools that can save you a whole lot of time is our PowerPoint CEO packs. There are more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics in the pack which are fully editable. You just need to choose the template that matches your thought, replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on cropping a picture so it covers the full page of your slide. If you want to learn more such tutorials, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.